Hello everyone, it's Lubna and welcome to my channel All Mediterranean Taste. New taste makes new recipes. Today I'm going to share with you a great recipe for any special event you want to celebrate. It's the famous Moroccan roasted chicken with olives and preserved lemon. We call it Jaj Muhammad. It's cooked in a great sauce packed with different and amazing spices and has the most delicious thick sauce. We call it Dagmira. This one is one of my favorite recipes for many years. We eat this amazing, crispy, tender and flavorful chicken in different special occasions. Weddings, birth, holidays and many more. It's really worth to try. So let's start. For this recipe we need one medium chicken. I cleaned it before with salt and water. Then rub it all from the outside and the inside with half of fresh lemon and squeeze the fresh lemon juice over all the chicken to remove the rough chicken taste. Drain the chicken, then dry it with paper towel. Use a long thread to tie the chicken from the legs, the breast and the wings so your chicken will look beautiful and perfect when it's cooked. Place your chicken in a separate plate and set it aside. Cut three or four onions into halves. Peel them. Then grate them by using the large holes of your grater. Or you can use a food processor to finely chop them. But I like to use the grater because it gives the perfect texture to the sauce that I always look for. Because I love the thick sauce in this recipe, I'm being generous with the onions. You can use less if you want, but the onions honestly shrink after they are cooked. Place the onions in a separate bowl and set it aside. Now press four garlic cloves and place them in a small bowl. Preserved lemon is an important ingredient in this recipe. You will need for about one and a half small preserved lemon or one large. You can find them in any Mediterranean or Middle East stores. And I will leave a link in the description box down below if you would like to order them online. Cut them into halves, then quarter them. Remove the pulp from the peel, then remove the seeds. And finally, chop them. Place it in a separate bowl and set it aside. Now slice the peel and set it aside in a different bowl as well. Now all the ingredients and the spices are ready to start cooking. You will need a small bouquet of fresh cilantro and a little bit of fresh parsley, a large pinch of saffron thread, you will find the link in the description box down if you want to order it online or buy it from any Mediterranean or Middle East stores. Over medium heat, place a large pot. Once it's hot, add 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now add the grated onions and pressed garlic. Mix. Add the crushed saffron threads. Then mix again. Now add 1 teaspoon of ground ginger, half teaspoon of ground turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of black pepper and mix. Add the preserved lemon pulp quarter teaspoon of salt 
Don't put too much salt because the preserved lemon and the olives are already too salty. Mix all the ingredients, then add the chicken to the pot. Cover the pot and cook for 2 minutes. Now turn over the chicken on the other side and cook for another 2 minutes. The goal is to let the chicken absorb all the flavors of the spices and brown it. Turn the chicken once again on its back. Add 2 cups of water and a bouquet of fresh cilantro and parsley. Then reduce the heat to low, cover the pot and cook for 30 minutes or so. From time to time, check that there is enough water in the pot. You don't need too much water for this recipe. Cover only to half of your chicken. The goal is to have a thick sauce. Meanwhile, clean one third cup of peated green olives and one third cup of peated purple olives with water to remove the excess of salt. You don't have to use both of them. You can use only one. Drain them, then place them in separate bowls for later. To make sure that your chicken is cooked, cook it with a skewer, toothpick or anything pointy. When the liquid is clear, then it's time to remove the chicken from the pot. Now remove the chicken from the pot, place it in a baking pan. Remove the bouquet of cilantro and parsley from the pot, then discard. Now increase the heat to medium to let the water evaporate and to reduce the value of the sauce. Keep mixing the sauce. Once it starts to get thick, add a few slices of preserved lemon, green olives and purple olives. Save some to decorate your chicken for later. Keep mixing until the water is evaporated and the sauce is thick and has a saucy texture. It will take for about 15 minutes to get the sauce ready. And that's it! Now the sauce is ready. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a small bowl, combine quarter teaspoon of paprika and two tablespoons of unsalted melted butter and mix. Brush all the chicken with the butter to get a nice and golden brown color. Place the chicken in the center rack of your oven and bake it for 20 minutes or until the chicken gets a beautiful golden brown color. Our chicken looks so perfect now. We've got a fabulous golden color that we were looking for. My kitchen smells so good with this flavorful and tasty chicken and sauce. Now everything is ready to serve. Place the chicken in a large serving plate and gently remove the threads.
pour the thick sauce or the dahmira over the chicken and around the chicken. Decorate the top of your chicken with the romaine olives and sliced preserved lemon. Clean the edges of your plate with a paper towel. Place the rest of the sauce in a separate pot to serve it with the chicken. Check this out! This is the best roasted chicken you will ever try. It's crispy from the outside, tender in the inside, and honestly, so tasty. It's a wonderful festive plate you can make. Make this recipe and it will make you the master chef of any table. Serve your chicken with crusty bread. I will serve mine with a homemade Moroccan bread. I will share with you the recipe of how to make the perfect Moroccan homemade bread in a separate video in the future. I cannot wait anymore. I will serve myself a nice piece of the chicken with my favorite sauce and some slices of the preserved lemon. It's so yummy! Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. If you like this recipe, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I will leave all the links in the description box down, including my email and the ingredients and all the steps how to make this recipe. I see you next time with new recipe and new taste. Bye!